States have shifted gears in terms of where they fight and what they fight over. It's not so much about moving borders anymore. It's not so much about counting on borders in the same way that you used to be able to. Now, it's about stealthily subverting borders, crossing borders without actually crossing them, because if you actually cross them, and if you actually hold up your flag, you'd be in contravention of international law. Voronoi mapping is a mathematical technique for taking points in space and figuring out which point you are closest to at any given time. What excites us about that is that gives us a mathematical measure of closeness and it gives us a sense of which of any of a number of different kinds of power center, be that state capitals or military units or ethnic neighborhoods, is the closest source of power to any particular space and that allows us to compare things that happen in space, like violence, to their local center of power. Okay, now let me show you how that all plays out in reality. We've got a bunch of state capitals. Here's London, here's Moscow, here's New York. And between them, they have their crazy, historically derived boundaries that we call borders. They can be on rivers, they can be the result of uh, fighting, doesn't really matter. We lay on top of that, a little Voronoi algorithm which smartly draws a series of straight lines such that each of the straight lines cuts the space between these centers of power in half. And we're curious, Patrick and I, about the places where the real world borders and the Voronoi borders mismatch. We call these gray zones. When we're trying to be fancy, we call them sovereign interstices because they're gaps between sovereignty. And what we're curious about is whether these mismatched places, territories where you're in one state's actual jurisdiction, but you're closer to another state's capital or the source of its power, whether those places produce a disproportionate share of conflict. We need a better model of where wars between states take place. They used to happen on borders, but nowadays they extend in more complex ways. And wars like the war in Ukraine, the war in Syria, the conflicts in the Great Lakes region don't happen so much on borders as in the spaces between them. So Voronoi mapping and data will allow us to better understand why, where and how modern conflict is happening.